Hey everybody, Chuck from Functional Fly Tying. And today I'm going to do a fly that is uh, something everybody should have in their fly box. It's easy to tie. Uh, I usually teach this as one of my first couple of flies for my intro classes. Um, you can tie it in a variety of colors, but it's also very versatile in the way that you can, uh, that you can fish it. The fly is a partridge and olive. This is a soft hackle fly and so you can fish it uh, with a bead head as a nymph. Uh, today I'm going to tie it unweighted because uh, this is how I keep most of mine. I will use them uh, in a nymph rig but I'll use them as one of the higher flies uh, and let it fish as an emerger. It has a tendency to want to rise up in the current uh, as you're fishing it with a, with a weighted point fly. Uh, you can swing it as a wet fly or uh, my favorite way to fish it is uh, when you are casting to rising fish. Sometimes they are not coming up all the way for the dries. They are fishing on flies in the surface film. And you'll see those little shallow dimples in the water. When you see those, uh, fish this as a dropper about 12 to 18 inches behind a dry fly and you're almost guaranteed to get action. So let's go ahead and get started on the fly. Okay, the hook that I have in the vise is a partridge caddis pupa barbless hook, the K2BY, in a size 16. I know some people like to tie their soft tackles on a standard dry fly hook. I like this because I like to have just a little bit of curve uh, to the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and tie in my thread about a millimeter or two behind the hook eye come back a little bit and then come back forward because I want to be able to tie my feather in on the on the thread rather than on the bare shank where it might slip. I've taken a partridge feather and I have stripped away the fluff and you can see that I've also pulled down the majority of the fibers now normally the easiest way to uh, to tie this in is with a pinch wrap and I'm tying this in upside down so it's going to rest concave. If you are a newer tire and you have a problem with using a pinch wrap then you can just trap the feather on top of the hook with your thumb and then you can make about two or three turns and that will hold that down rather nicely. What I want to do, and I'll, you'll see why later on, I'm going to give this just a slight little tug. Just wiggle that back and forth. And that's all you need. It's just a, just a millimeter or so to give yourself a little bit of extra room. Take a couple turns back and then I'm going to add in a little optional feature on this. Some people like to use a, uh, a wire rib other people like to uh, like to just keep it just a thread body. Uh, this sulky, uh, this is called hollow shimmer tinsel, and I've got it in a in a nice green here. I'm going to use a uh, holographic tinsel rib, which will give it just a little bit more, better visibility if you were in uh, water that's not perfectly clear. So I bound that in on the back side of the hook and now I am just painting the hook with a layer of thread and you can do this fly in with an orange thread body or a yellow thread body or black uh, there's you can go with any number of options here the body on this should be quite thin so you don't have to worry about building up any sort of taper to speak of. Once I have that in place, now I'm going to go ahead and start to spiral that tinsel up the body, leaving small gaps, small but consistent gaps, so that the thread does show through. A 
work that in around that feather and then when I get it back towards where I uh, where I tied in bring the thread in behind and tie off that tinsel to trim that away make sure I don't cut my thread I'm going to rotate my vise around and trim that off the next part of the fly is again this is another area where some people say this uh, you don't need to put this part in but I like to uh, and that is a thorax so what I'm going to do is I'm taking a little bit of brown olive hairs hair dubbing and I'm taking just a very very small amount of this in fact that's even too much and all I'm looking to do is put a slight bump of a thorax in there the purpose for this is that the the dub fur and you don't want to this is why you don't want to put wax in here at this point if you don't have to is you can trap some microscopic air bubbles uh, in that uh, in that thorax and that will help give that emerging action that you're going to want to see so I have that in I like the way that that looks it's just a little bit of a bump there I'm going to take one turn towards the hook eye and then I'm going to draw the partridge feather back and I'm going to wind back over it with a couple of turns of thread. What I've done is by tying it in in a forward direction and then pulling it over and tying it back is I have made sure that the, uh, that the feather won't pull out when I go ahead and start to wrap the hackle. Now, because I don't have much of a quill here, I am going to go ahead and use hackle pliers. And all I need to get out of this is a turn and a half to two, to two turns of thread, or hackle, excuse me. Bring that up. Continue to fold those fibers back. Once you have that first turn in, then you can let go of your hackle pliers if you need to. Trim away your excess. And then again, just stroke any fibers back just to make sure nothing is, uh, is crowding the hook eye. Wind back just a little bit. Now you build nice little head of thread double whip finish on there you shouldn't need to use any sort of cement on the head. Trim that away and the fly is done. Now I'm just going to take a final look at it make sure that I have even wraps of, uh, of partridge all the way around but that's the way I want the fly to look. And there's your partridge and olive. And there you have it. Hopefully you enjoy tying this fly. I know you're going to enjoy fishing it. Uh, like I said, it's, it's deadly in just a variety of applications. So uh, get out there, tie some up in a variety of colors, load up your fly boxes, and get out and enjoy it. Thanks for watching my video. Look to uh, 
Check back with us to see more videos coming soon. Thanks and have a good one.